father of the nation. So uh, uh, this is uh, this class is only done to finish the syllabus because uh, next week I won't be seeing you because of the test and Monday and uh, Friday is my class and you have test both on those days. So that is the reason I am uh, taking this class. Uh, let us all pray homage to the great father of the nation who got us independence. So I hope we'll get independence with uh, COVID-19 sooner or later because we are all imprisoned in our houses from some time. So with that hope and uh, hoping that the scientists will find the vaccine sooner and we will be away from this mess sooner than later. With these positive words, I will uh, start the class. Uh, okay. Now there are some definitions. I will just uh, do it for you. I have already done this. Please write it down. Radiation. I will also share the scanned copy. First definition uh, already you know is radiation resistance. Now whatever I am doing is part of the test. Okay. Please write down. It is the fictitious. Already you know this. I am repeating. F I C T I T I O U S fictitious resistance. All of you can see the board. Yes, sir. Ah, okay. Fictitious resistance, which when substituted. in series with an antenna will consume the same power as is actually radiated by the antenna. Okay. Radiation resistance. Already we have done uh, sufficient problems on this and you have found it. It is a fictitious resistance which when substituted in series with the antenna will consume the same power uh, as is actually radiated by the antenna. I think I have uh, already I have explained to you in detail about this. It is uh, you have an antenna, you have this uh, antenna, this has to radiate in free space while radiating in free space this is a insulator so it has to overcome a resistor before this your em wave is radiated into free space so that particular resistance is called as your radiation resistance this is the fictitious resistance which when subtended in series with the antenna will consume the same power as is actually radiated by the antenna that two derivations we have done radiation resistance of short dipole and lambda by two dipole remember that so in lambda by 2 dipole, we have substituted our radiation resistance is equal to 73 ohms. These derivations will be doing in the fourth module where you find this one. This is a radiation resistance is 73 ohms for your lambda pair to dipole antenna. Okay. So this is your first definition of radiation resistance. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Next one is radiation intensity. radiation see please definitions you no know, you don't change any you don't write it in your own words you have to by heart these words whichever i have told you don't make it in your own word because these definitions may be two marks or two and a half marks each and if it is wrong it is zero or if it is correct it is two so it is like one digital marking so please don't write it in your own words radiation intensity next uh, Is my handwriting clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you, Bina. 
okay radiation intensity it is the power radiated it is the power radiated by the antenna per unit solid angle it is the power radiated by an antenna per unit solid angle that's all third one is half power beam width half power beam width of an antenna is the angular measurement between the directions in which in which the antenna is radiating half of the maximum power half power beam width of of an antenna is the angular measurement between the directions in which the antenna is radiating half of the maximum power got it yes sir okay are you noting down yes, yes sir. sir effective aperture is the ratio of the is the ratio of the power radiated power radiated in watts to the pointing vector p of the incident wave of the incident 
वेव कंटिन्यू दी इफेक्टिव अपरेचर दी इफेक्टिव अपरेचर अकाउंट्स अकाउंट्स for the captured or the or the captured slash collected power so whenever the effective aperture is asked this is what you are required to write so any doubt so far no sir okay this definitions are very important from your test point of view as well as the exam point of view because uh, this will usually come for some 7 to 8 marks in the exam and for your test i may give up to 10 marks for your uh, this one there is one question on this uh, just define the following it is just like like do you have to uh, take it inside your mouth and you can follow it so uh, that is uh, as simple as that so this laddu you have to take it so you just have to by heart uh, these uh, things just one directive gain or they can also ask as directivity it is the ratio of it is the ratio of power density of power density in a particular direction at a given point at a given point to the power to the to the power that would be radiated that would be that would be radiated at the same distance at the same distance by an omni directional antenna by an omni directional antenna i'll repeat it is the ratio of the power density in a particular direction at a given point to the power that will be radiated at the same distance by an omni directional and an omni directional means a uh, single direction right yes sir uh, okay. yes sir uh, maximum directive gain maximum 
directive gain is known as the directivity. Maximum directive gain is known as directivity. Effective height, effective height slash length LE is the ratio of is the ratio of Induced voltage at the terminal of the receiving antenna receiving antenna under an open circuit condition under an open circuit condition to the incident electric field intensity to the incident electric field intensity or strength or strength this is your effective height or length of the antenna okay Next. Antenna efficiency. Is defined as. Defined as. As the. Ratio of the total power radiated by the antenna by the antenna. to the total power to the total power which is fed to the antenna see it is like i am uh, teaching everything that is the uh, i am telling uh, trying to feed you the knowledge what is the output is total power uh, total knowledge you are giving as the output to the uh, in your examination so that is how we measure the output here okay next polarization refers to the direction in which
इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड वेक्टर E is aligned during the passage of at least. one complete cycle okay so this is your uh, polarization uh, definition refers to the direction in which the electric field vector e is aligned during passage of at least one complete cycle is it clear yes sir okay next antenna bandwidth before that okay. antenna bandwidth is the frequency over which over which an antenna maintains its required characteristics such as radiation resistance polarization etc next front to back ratio front to back ratio is the ratio of is the ratio of power radiated in the desired direction to the power radiated in the opposite direction radiated in the Oppo sit direction. I think this many um, definitions are sufficient for you for your exam as well as uh, uh, test. So radiation resistance. It is the fictitious resistance which, when substituted in series with the antenna, will consume the same power as is actually radiated by the antenna. That is your radiation resistance. radiation intensity it is the power it is the power radiated by the antenna per unit solid angle half power beam width of an antenna is the angular measurement 
between the directions in which the antenna uh, is radiating half of the maximum power effective aperture it is the ratio of the power radiated in watts to the pointing vector of the incident wave the effective aperture accounts for the captured collected power directive gain uh, it is the ratio of the power density in a particular direction at a given point to the power that would be radiated at the same distance by an omnidirectional antenna maximum directivity uh, directive gain is known as the directivity effective height is the ratio of the induced voltage at the terminal of the receiving antenna under an open circuit condition to the incident electric field uh, to the incident electric field intensity or strength antenna efficiency is defined as the ratio of the total power radiated by the antenna to the total power which is fed to the antenna polarization refers to the direction in which the electric field vector e is aligned during the passage of at least one complete cycle antenna bandwidth is the frequency over which the antenna maintains required characteristics such as radiation resistance polarization etc front to back ratio is the ratio of the power radiated in the desired direction to the power radiated in the opposite uh, direction so the uh, this is what is the all the uh, definitions 